Now we're going to pivot to our friend, the mayor of San Antonio, and uh, Mayor Ron Nuremberg also serves as the chair of the Mayors and Business Leaders Center for Compassionate and Equitable Cities, and has certainly been a champion on these issues, and, uh, and, and, and we couldn't have done any of this without him. So, Mayor Nuremberg, please tell us your journey in San Antonio. Great. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Holt. And first, let me also acknowledge uh, and thank uh, the vice chair for the center, uh, Mayor Stephen Reed. Uh, this is obviously center for a lot of us as we've seen the rise of hate crimes and, and uh, other acts of hate um, really spike in the couple of years prior to the pandemic. And of course, throughout the pandemic, uh, hate speech and acts targeted against our Jewish community, our Asian community, LGBTQ community, so many others. It's disconcerting, but there are roles that I think mayors can take that are they are uniquely able to take. Uh, the first one, uh, I would say that we've tried to really, uh, you know, ensure that we're doing here in San Antonio is number one, leaders need to model behavior. Uh, that means uh, in, in the mayor's office, we are constantly monitoring and making sure that we were responding to calling out acts of hate and standing with and standing for the members of our community who are often the most vulnerable, uh, most uh, marginalized. Um, that also means that uh, when there are opportunities to, to organize or be part of rallies in response to incidents, whether it is the flyers that have been left in communities near our Jewish synagogues or um, you know, working with our Holocaust Memorial Museum that has been targeted by protests, or frankly, showing up at a restaurant that's been uh, vandalized, uh, Asian American owned restaurant being vandalized. We have to be, use our presence to speak volumes about and reinforce the values that we have as a community. I'd also say that San Antonio has really leaned into, and I have leaned into my role as being a convener I want to thank uh, Secretary Mayorkas for joining us here in San Antonio as I gathered uh, leaders throughout our faith communities, uh, our interfaith communities from the Sikh community, Muslim community, uh, our Jewish community, Catholic diocese, uh, working together. Uh, we came, uh, we organized a roundtable for Secretary Mayorkas to brief us on domestic extremism here in our country and more specifically joining with our local law enforcement community, our FBI office, et cetera, to give us a glimpse of and be updated on some of the things that are happening in our local community, our backyard, so that uh, we can also give an exchange, uh, those members of the communities that are targeted, providing input and um, experiences from their local congregations or local communities, so that we're all better informed and working together as a community to secure ourselves and, and to ensure that our families uh, feel safe. I'd also like to uh, recognize an effort that's been underway for some time. Uh, my first act as mayor was to uh, create and sign our city's charter for compassion, recognizing that uh, one of the fundamental values of policymaking in San Antonio is that we want to treat people the way we would like to be treated and not treat people the way we wouldn't. And so uh, compassion has been at the heart of policymaking and resource allocation for the city so long as I've been mayor and will continue to be uh, forevermore. Uh, part of that was the development of a compassionate SA program. And one of the things that that uh, compassionate SA program has done, similar in, in coordination with the ADL, which has been a tremendous partner for us, has been to develop localized compassionate training, uh, compassion training for uh, leaders within our community, uh, and community members that are interested in, in harnessing the power of compassion to deal with issues of hate and frankly, just create community. Uh, so we have been working with uh, leaders throughout different sectors, business leaders, educational leaders, uh, nonprofit and civic leaders to take this training and be better versed on how we can handle situations as they arise. I'd uh, also like to point out that 100% of our higher education institutions went through this training in the first year of the program. And we are now uh, working through uh, all the other levels of, of education. And of course, all of our uh, civic leaders here in our city as well. So compassionate training, giving people the tools, empowering them uh, to be uh, responsive to 
communities that are experiencing hate, uh, that are being marginalized, and helping use that power of convening uh, through this training curriculum is, is very important to us. I'd lastly like to say that we are also working with the U.S. Surgeon General's Office on, on bringing this kind of training to a broader audience. Uh, and so we are developing a uh, downloadable curriculum that regardless of where you are in the city or frankly throughout the country, you can access easily access um, some materials and training that would allow uh, your community members, regardless of their station in life, to be prepared and to be able leaders in the face of hate. So uh, that's a little bit of what San Antonio is doing. We're very proud. And of course, I am very proud of the U.S. Conference of Mayors Center for Compassionate Cities and businesses and the work that we're doing to bring this compact to life and would encourage all of our fellow mayors to get involved. Back to you, David. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, Ron, very much.